CD Projekt Red, the developers behind Cyberpunk 2077 and The Witcher 3, have recently said that they are currently focused on improving Cyberpunk and want to improve the game so that they can successfully sell it for years to come. Plus, major changes in huge name CSGO rosters, see Zipnix being replaced, Kenny S being benched, and RPK stepping down. And COD Mobile is banned in this country, and confused players are asking Activision to step in and reverse the block. All that and more next on The Breakdown. Cyberpunk 2077 devs won't abandon game, plan on selling it for years to come. Nothing is more of a death sentence in the gaming world in 2021 than having a disastrous launch that sees your game turned into a meme. While Cyberpunk 2077 was released in December, it was met with swift criticism in particular for its PS4 and Xbox One versions, while players were upset with what many considered a fairly bare-bones game. While the PC version was not a total dumpster fire, and the new-gen versions also seemed to be at least functional, the majority of the issues came from the PS4 and Xbox One ports, with the problems so bad that Cyberpunk was removed from being on sale on the PlayStation Network, and it's still not available on there. But CD Projekt Red, the developers behind both Cyberpunk 2077 and The Witcher 3, have said that they are optimistic about being able to improve the game and help it sell, quote, for years to come. The studio had recently said in an interview with Reuters that abandoning Cyberpunk is not an option, that the company is convinced that they can get the game to a state where it's going to be fixed enough to stand up to the standards the company has set in the wake of the disastrous launch. After the absolutely dismal launch, some major changes were said to be taking place at CD Projekt Red, including a promise to showcase its future games on all platforms instead of specifically on higher-end ones. They also promised to stay quiet for much longer on their new games, instead focusing on revealing and promoting their games once they are much closer to completion. But the bigger question is really whether Cyberpunk deserves for audiences to give it a second chance. It's not black magic. Games have to have decent launches in order to succeed in this day and age. And while you may be able to point out some major games that have come back from the brink, like No Man's Sky, for everyone you can point out that was able to make a comeback, there are five more Destinies and Evolves. How broken are you willing to let your game be before you refuse to give companies your money? And will you be giving Cyberpunk 2077 a second chance if you refuse to buy it before? Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. Huge changes to CSGO rosters sees legends like Zipnix, Kenny S, and RPK making changes. Seems like Blast Premier Spring Showdown has been the inciting factor for some major changes to happen to some of the biggest CSGO rosters in the world, and it ends up seeing some major names either stepping down or being replaced. While well, the benching of G2's legendary opera Kenny S happened around a week ago, it was all due to a series of disappointing placements and anemic personal performance that would not have stood up to the aspirations that G2 have going into the Blast tournament. And while Kenny S was benched with an opportunity to eventually return to his team after finding a possible reset, others like Zipnix may not have that opportunity. The Astralis fan favorite has obviously had some struggles as of late, but will not have a chance, at least in the foreseeable future, to make right what he wasn't able to accomplish with the team. Zipnix was replaced by a player on Astralis that had been riding the bench for almost eight months straight, until finally the founder of Astralis tweeted, Free Bubski last week, an obvious sign of the roster changes coming to the team before it was finally announced that Zipnix would be replaced, again for the foreseeable future. Another French legend, RPK, also saw a change in his status as an active CSGO player, but in a change from the other two players we've mentioned, this was a division that RPK himself made. The 31-year-old player has been competing since 2007, revealed that he will be stepping back from the active roster and taking a break from competing. The Team Vitality head coach made a statement about RPK's decision to take a step back from competing, saying that the team, quote, needs to find a new pace. He adds that it's never easy to let a legendary player like RPK go, but they'll support him in what's yet to come. All of this to say that CSGO continues to be in a state of constant chaos. While things may not be out of control on the surface, the eSport is going through a bunch of changes right now. And what players are left after the Valorant Reckoning are also starting to see the old guard of players either be replaced or replace themselves on the rosters. Who will be left standing in another year as an active CSGO player? COD Mobile banned in Iran. Millions of players have been kicked from Activision's popular mobile shooter, Call of Duty Mobile, after the game was banned in Iran on April 12th. Although players were able to play already in that region, they are now greeted with a message upon opening the app. Unfortunately, we are not yet ready to release the game in your area. This leaves nearly 32 million players in the lurch and unable to launch one of their favorite games. And while this sudden ban may seem like it came out of nowhere, there are a few factors that most likely led up to its buildup and quick banning. 
In addition to the escalation of tensions between the United States and Iranian governments, plenty of additional international sanctions have made game development pretty hard in the Middle East region. Because of these issues, there have been an unprecedented surge of account sharings, and that seems to be the primary reason for the game's ban. Due to the repeated efforts of Iranian users to deport and hack consoles and user accounts, all user services will be cut off for 10 years, a spokesman for the International Alliance of Consular and Non-Consular Games said. But Activision has also planned for people who are trying to go around the ban by using a VPN, a service that allows you to mask your location and connect to the app from seemingly a different place. Tenure account bans are a consequence that players using these VPNs can expect, which seems a little steep, but the devs obviously do not want gamers from this region to take part in the game until a series of issues are resolved. COD Mobile joins other huge games like League of Legends and Clash of Clans that are banned in the region, and that list seems to be getting only longer. Is there a solution to get these gamers back into their accounts, or will the gaming community as a whole be waiting on peace in the Middle East before they are able to jump back in here or into the rift. That's it for the news today. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We're always posting brand new content right here on our YouTube channel. But did you know that Checkpoint XP is the only syndicated radio show in over 70 cities across the US and Canada that talks exclusively esports and video games? If you go to our website at CheckpointXP.com, you can see where we're airing and if we're in a city near you. And while you're there, check out the podcast feed for the breakdown and take the esports and video game news on the go. My name's Weirdbeard, and I cannot wait to play as Aloy in Fortnite.